Let your soul and spirit fly into mystic. Let your soul and spirit fly into mystic. Into mystic. Into mystic. Into mystic. Good evening and welcome back to Mystic Matters. We are the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce. Good evening, Tricia Cunningham. Good evening, Suzette. I know you have a lot of updates for us this evening. I do. Well, it's been a great month so far and we have some businesses that have opened up in um, either opened up with new locations or expanded. And I just want to give everybody an update on some of these these business locations. Knowing Community Market. Can't wait. Great, and that's great. this weekend, Tricia? Well, they we had their grand opening. Mm -hmm. um, um, and so they're open and we're very excited and it's a great showing of community support. Individual members had to buy into this and it's a food co-op and um, to get it started and it's just been great to see this come together and come together yes. professionally as well. Let's it's just make great sure everybody understands it's in Noank and it's, it's in on Noank. Pearl Street. It is, it is. At the old Universal, Universal. Um, uh, store. Store. Yeah. Right. So. so over at the old Universal store, right next door is a, uh, a couple other locations. There's the Universal Package store is next door, which has um, new ownership, which is terrific, and then another store next to that. Um, so it's a nice little um, area nice. right there, right in Noink on the way to Abbott's. Um, so it's a nice spot. Easy so, to find. Mm -hmm. So Noink Community Market, definitely go there for lots of um, vegetarian foods, gluten-free foods, different things like that. Um, another one that has a new location, a business that has been a long-standing business in Mystic, but has a new location is Kitchen Little, and they opened up um, in their new, like, new location yeah. over on Mason's Island. So we're very excited for Flo and her team, and it's been um, received very well. This is a brave group of people. They had Kitchen Little, and they, for many, many years, closed up the doors there. Within two days, they were opened Open in their again. new location. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, and um, right. just great reviews. So congratulations to them. Right. Um, they're doing Flow a great job. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, another, um, they've been in a new location for some time for Paws Veterinary <laughs> Services. And this is a, a mutual yes. friends of both Suzette and myself. Yes. They're yes. our vets for our animals. Right. And, Wonderful um, people. Yes. Um, so Four Paws opened up and they, for some time while they were getting their new facility in order, was working out of a couple of trailers. So it's great yeah. to see it's them in their new location. It's been a few years in the process. And, yeah. Um, it's yeah. really something to celebrate. And they have great great service, great care, great animal care, and a great team there. So it's really great to see their new location up and running and something that um, they've worked so hard for many years to, right. to accomplish. And also very easy right off of Cow Hill Road. Yeah, right in Mystic, nice. easy location, easy off the highway. So, so it's a great spot. Um, so those are a couple of our new businesses. I just want to give one update. Our Groton Business Update is May 17th, and this is an event that is put together by Groton Business Association. And we have a couple of featured speakers. It's sponsored by Groton Utilities and Thames Valley Communications. Um, but a couple of speakers is another new business that is opening up um, and opening in May is Tom yes. Vignato from oh, Fields yes. of Fire. Oh, this is so fantastic. Fields of Fire. Yes. So we are abundant right. with new business of right now in Mystic and Groton Very and grateful. Stonington area. So, so things are looking up in terms of the economy. So we're, we're grateful for that. But mm -hmm. um, Groton Business Update, there will be speakers. Tom Vignato from Groton, um, from Fields of Fire. There will be Dennis McGee from Cornerstone Bookstore, a business that has been around for over 20 years and has recently expanded with right. the Jubilee Junction. Right. Um, we'll have Michael Alfutas from Yukon Avery Point. We have um, um, Karen Dole from Noink, oh, okay. Noink Market, yeah. uh, the Bridge Market uh, in Groton, um, and a couple other speakers. So that's May 17th, and you can go to grotonbiz.com for more information on that. Um, it's amazing, Tricia, how in such um, tough to economic times we have businesses popping up all over and, and really recreating their business and being very proactive with their business as well. So, uh, Suzette just said two very key words, and that is recreate and proactive. Very key and words, um, yes. that's something that I think is important for more of our businesses to 
to take hold of mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. to remind themselves of and that. And to survive in this mm -hmm. kind of uh, economy. Absolutely. Um, and a couple other things that I just want to mention. We have an exciting thing going on. We are trying something new at the Chamber, and we have a trip to China that we've put together and I am blown away we've been promoting this trip. You didn't think it was going to be this I kind of response. Not that. We have yeah. over um, over 22 people signed Fantastic. up for this. This is amazing. So yeah. um, if you're interested, if you've always wanted to go to see the Great Wall and that's been on your bucket list, we have a, a really a amazing deal that you couldn't pass up um, so feel free to reach out to me personally for information on that and That's then fantastic. one last piece before we uh, go into our guest um, I'm just reminding you please to when you do your shopping if you could take the time to go into stop into downtown mystic if, during the weekend or um, in between running errands just to support mm -hmm. one of our businesses in the month of May if you could make an effort to go and shop local and and try to support the businesses in downtown it would be really appreciated and it will make a big difference. Um, they've had Absolutely. a rough time with yes. the streetscape project mm -hmm. and the bridge project. But things project. are looking up. They're coming things to they're up. coming to an end soon yep. in the next couple of months. Uh, next couple of months, um, and weekly you're seeing major pieces of progress being done. So it's it is coming to a close. But we really need to support our downtown businesses. So we're we're definitely reaching out to our community asking for that support. Great. Okay, I think I'm done. Oh, it's fantastic, <laughs> you know, Tricia, and also thank you, Tricia, for doing such a great job. Um, Tricia Cunningham, of course, is at the helm, uh, and the president of the uh, Mystic Chamber of Commerce. Great, 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 Chamber great of team. Commerce. Yeah, and she does a great job. I always remind people there's a very small staff here at the depot. And we can count a, them on one hand. Absolutely, so. and it's just amazing <laughs> some of the, the largest events that go on in downtown Mystic, and they, she has a great crew. Uh, so also support uh, your, your local chamber as well. So our guest this evening, uh, again, not only not, not a guest, yeah, but not uh, a guest, but family, family, part of the uh, Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce family, and a good friend to both Trisha and I. We'd like to introduce um, David Brown from the Odd Fel Well Fairview. I mean, I, I really don't really know how to uh, introduce you, uh, well, David, because you're Fairview you're so, Odd Fellows Home. Yes, but mm -hmm. you're such a. I mean, you're an icon. Wow. <laughs> you are just an icon. He has uh, icon Brown. status. Yes, we were just talking about you uh, uh, last week uh, uh, with some people that we, we also uh, care dearly about, and um, you've done just a great job. Thank you. Uh, I've had a good you. time. I've really enjoyed it. Um, well, you've done a great job ex bringing out to the community what Fairview is yes. and mm -hmm. really, yeah. really bringing Fairview into the community, mm -hmm. which has been terrific. That's one of the things. Fairview is such a well-kept secret. You know, we're one of the best uh, nursing homes in the area, the only nonprofit nursing home in the area. So a lot Where of people... Where are you located? Well, we're located on Lestertown Road in between the Military Highway and uh, Route 12. But a lot of people, it's a residential area, so a lot of people don't go there. So they don't really know. I worked at Electric Boat for eight and a half years and right down the street, and I never knew the place existed. Yeah. So, you know, it, we, we struggled with that. But, uh, you know, that is one of my tasks is to go out and try to beat the drum and let people know that who we are and, you know, we're a five-star facility. And uh, a lot of good nursing homes in the area, but none any better than Fairview. When you say five-star facility, what do you really mean by that? Well, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, I think in 2008, came up with a rating system for nursing homes. And uh, it's one through five-star. And it's based on, there, there are four different categories, and I never can remember all of them, but staffing is one of them, number of deficiencies that you get on a review that when the state comes in every year and they review you. So... Um, you know, we're a five-star, and I think there are like almost 2,000, uh, 20,000 nursing homes in the country, 19,200 and something. But anyway, we are one of only 10% of all those nursing homes that are even eligible to be a five-star facility. And for a time, we were actually uh, one of only 37 nursing homes in the country that was a five-star facility in all five rating categories. Hmm. So... Uh, we did drop, we, we are only five-star in four of those rating categories, but overall we are a five-star facility. And there are other five-star facility uh, n nursing homes in this area, but we still think that uh, there are none any better than Fairview. <laughs> and, and Dave, how long have you been with Fairview? I've been with Fairview for seven years. And uh, I do the fundraising and uh, some marketing and 
public relations. I'm really the only person there that does that. And so you do all these various jobs. And yes, done a great I do job. all these various jobs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, that's it's in his job description. All these yeah. various all these, jobs. You know, it's just amazing because um, when I say Dave is, an, is, is like an icon uh, and, and a great representative of uh, Fairview, uh, you're at all the business after hours, you're at mm -hmm. all the events, and you really are, I guess, a champion uh, for Ver Fairview and the Odd Fellows Home. So. Yeah, and uh, I really enjoy it, and I think that's part of it, enjoying it. Right. You know, I came, it's easy. It's easier when you believe in your product, and I came from Providence College where I did fundraising for 21 years, and then uh, took this job at Fairview back in 2005, and never worked at a nursing home before, so it's been kind of a, a great educational experience for me, too. I. I kidded with the uh, people at PC when I left. I said, yeah, it's a great place. I said, but the co-eds are a little older here. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many rooms does Fairview have? Well, 120 beds. Beds, okay. I should yeah, make that specific. Mm -hmm. Skilled so, nursing right. care, 120 beds, and we have 24 independent living apartments, soon to have uh, more independent living All apartments. Right, that's about to change. That's about to change. We're going through the permitting process in the town of Groton. We're almost there. Uh, hoping to get the final permit uh, sometime this summer. Once that's completed and we get all the permitting, then we will be building 23 villas as you come in the, the uh, entryway, which will that's be all independent be living, really 55 nice. and older. It's going to be great. It's going to be a nice clubhouse. It, Did you just yeah. say 55 and over? 55 and over. Okay. Are so you what eligible? What a great location. Well, actually, um, she's barely. Barely. Uh, she's at barely. Are, barely. I think you and I are. Barely barely just barely. <laughs> barely yeah. over the 55. But that's going to be that's going to be like a multi-phase uh, project. Yeah. And the first phase is, this, is these 23 villas. And uh, hoping to get started on those maybe, well, realistically, probably until, not until next year. We have to put a road in from the military highway up through uh uh, for various reasons, mm -hmm. so that's going to take some time to do that, and there's a lot of underground wiring, a lot of stuff that has yeah. to be done previous yeah. to actually putting a shovel in the ground to uh, stop building, but it's pretty exciting. It's very exciting, and I can't wait to see how the design is and what the layout will be and how it'll work into the landscape there, because it's a beautiful spot. We're very fortunate. We have a lot of land. We have 70 acres mm -hmm. of land, and, and that's this project is actually what's going to really uh, help us uh, survive because with the cutbacks, well, love, this year's level funding for Medicaid reimbursement, and over 60% of our residents are covered by Medicaid. That's yes. Title 19. Right. And right. Medicare is probably going to be a, re a cutback in yeah, that be coverage. That's going right. to be reduced, sure. so they yeah. say. So, uh, you know, we have to rely on uh, pri private pay residents in fundraising. And, you know, we do, it, we have a nice fundraising program, but, we, you know, it's, Compared to the overall budget, which is like $11 million annual budget, so, you know, it's really kind of a drop in the bucket, but it, cer it certainly helps. But this, uh, developing the land is going to really uh, give us the revenue, you know, uh, private pay revenue that we're really going to need to make sure that the nursing home can stay right. open down the road. Right. I mean, we're in great phys fiscal shape, but the dark clouds are there. It's, it's, it's a tough mm -hmm. business to run. Yep. And you have to stay ahead of that, ahead of that. So this is a great way that you guys are really finding that solution to it stay ahead of it. It's very forward-looking by yep. the Oddfellows organization yep. to do this. And uh, like I said, we, we, we're fortunate that we have the land that we can, that we can do yeah. it. Now, you have some other programs and, you know, services that are available at Fairview in terms of um, rehab that you've been growing in we, recent years. We do. We have a great rehab program. It has, it has grown. We outsourced it two years ago and since that time it's really it's grown we have uh, an occupational therapist a speech therapist uh, therapy physical therapy is it inpatient and outpatient only inpatient only inpatient we, yes only okay. inpatient and but we're busy 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 it's a very busy uh, department and uh, we have a great reputation for our rehabilitation particularly knees hips, people that come in right, right. and, uh, you know, need that kind of rehabilitation. And, uh, again, it's very competitive, but uh, we, uh, we really have a great physical therapy uh, program. And I invite anyone that might be watching that uh, if you're thinking about having a knee or hip replacement, uh, come and check us out. Yeah. Think about Fabian. Yeah. Uh, again, lots Can people of come and yeah. tour ahead of time and yes. meet with people ahead of time to plan that out? Definitely. Okay. And yes. that's probably okay. the best way to do mm -hmm. that as well. And that's what people do. Right. They know they, they, you know, that's something obviously you can schedule ahead of time. So 
you come in right. and you, yep. you take a tour and you can see where you're going to be and what kind of, s you can check out the uh, uh, physical therapy department and the people, are, the therapists mm -hmm. that are going to be helping you. you know. I'm sorry. Now no. they, they, <laughs> you, you, we talk about fundraising and you, you've had um, uh, fundraising and some events. Now, uh, a couple of weeks ago, around April 28th, you had um, the Fairview uh, medal award. We did. Oh, okay, yes, so that's a nice what one. is that all about? I hope I win that next year. <laughs> well, did everybody good hear that? Uh, David I mean, should really win I'm that next year. I'm not one of those year. people. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I don't want that award. You know, yeah, but yeah, I'm but one of those people oh, that says, I'll, well, maybe I want we'll that. Write a letter. Give us the award. Oh, yeah, we like awards. We like we awards. We should write a letter. When I got the Volunteer of the Year award, I said, that's really, I don't think that's the only award I'd ever gotten. Really? I think I said that at the time. And, and, and that, that was yeah. really, I really meant a lot What to Dave's me, talking so. about is we, the yeah, Greater absolutely. Mystic Chamber of Commerce, honored Dave at our annual dinner as the Volunteer of the Year Award, and he was very deserving. So, yeah. I said he's an icon. And icon. So he I, he's an icon. I've got room on my shelf for one more, at least one more. Okay, award. maybe we can <laughs> develop a lot of together. The Fabio Medal would be a perfect um, award. But anyway, <laughs> I, I better not lobby too much. <laughs> I'll never get so it. Who gets it? <laughs> who got the Fairview Medal this year? Yeah. This year, our outgoing administrator, okay. Jim Malloy, yeah. retired after 10 years at Fairview. Right. Did a wonderful job. Uh, really came to Fairview at a time before I got there when, when the place was really in trouble. Right. In and need, uh, financial need. trouble. Yep, so he came in. He really had to make a lot of changes. And he did, and he really turned it into a first-class facility. Hired a lot of all the people, are great people that, that are working at Fairview, the managers, uh, nursing, every department. So he did a great job, and he retired at the end of March. So he received uh, one of the awards, and another lady by the name of Pat Fielkowski, whose uh, husband had been at Fairview as a resident, and uh, he passed away, unfortunately, a couple of years ago. She got involved as a volunteer. She uh, helped us on our auction committee. And she's also very, very financially generous uh, to Fairview as well. So it's a combination of things, volunteerism, you know, helping Fairview financially, the kind of the criteria for the award. And this was the fifth year that we did it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that was, as you said, April 28th. And we had about 130 people. It was great, great, biggest group we've ever had, and uh, it was a great night. Where was night. it held at? Right at Fairview, right in, right in, in the auditorium. Okay. In the auditorium, okay. Now yeah. tell us about the new administrator. The new administrator's name is James uh, Rosenman, and he comes from a company called Life Care Services, and he's only 31 years old, but uh, knowledgeable way, upon, way beyond his uh, chronological age. Mm -hmm. A uh, lot of experience. He's been doing this for 10 years, so he's been doing it since he got out of college. And wow. He's been doing it at a lot of different uh, facilities. facilities. Yeah. He's worked at uh, nonprofits, for profits. He's been, at, he was, I think, he was at Life Care Services for four or five years. Came from, he was working up in Boston, but uh, he's got a, uh, he's got a lot of knowledge about the nursing care business, and I think he's a perfect fit for Fairview. That's we'll get perfect. him, we'll get him to come on the show. Oh, that'll, oh that'll be, be great. great. That'll yeah. be great. He'd be good. He's, okay. he's very good. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's pleased. They made a good choice. Uh, so it's so seamless. Good. Can, good. I, can, I, good. can I, Tricia, talk about the um, event that is coming up? <gasps> oh, yes. That I never win at. No, you're and not. You, you don't you sound know, bitter at I, all. I, I'm not bitter. You don't sound bitter at all. I've been buying a ticket mm -hmm. every year, support uh, Fairview and Dave. Mm -hmm. uh, I even kissed a ticket you one did. year. I did. I did, and I still You have to get win. someone else to kiss the ticket, like well, the Pope or something. Well, I, <laughs> we, we could do that. But anyways, tell us about the, the car raffle, Dave. And well, the know. car raffle, this is the seventh year that we've had the car raffle, and we have made something a lot of money. Something special about that. Oh, and the drawing is July 7th. Someone, the drawing is July 7th. You buy seven tickets, and it's there the seventh go. year, and it's held on July 7th. There you go. Ooh, karma. Yeah, that's good, that's karma. good karma. Everything is aligned. Yeah, right. that would, <laughs> that's a good point. I like yeah, it. Yeah. But we've raised Sorry. over 120. We've done this before, Dave. <laughs> yes, I know. I can tell. <laughs> we've raised uh, a little over $128,000. It's amazing. From six Unraffled. car raffles, and yeah. it's been a great fundraiser for mm -hmm. Fairview. Our biggest fundraiser is our antique and collectible auction, which will be in November, but um, that's raised almost half a million dollars, believe it or that's not. That's amazing. Over nine years. But yep. the car raffle's coming up. Yeah. July 7th, and people can purchase tickets by uh, coming to Fairview, 
by going uh, on I'm our website at well, uh, oddfellowct.com yeah. by going to Majestic Jewelers where you have a, a yeah. sign up. Actually, someone called me from Westerly today, saw the flyer at a car wash. Yeah. So, uh, mm. you know, I try to put them, That's pretty put them cool. everywhere I can find well, tell them. Tell us about right. the car. Well, the Ooh, car. Yeah. I can tell them. Can I can tell you about the car. Okay. Why don't you tell us <laughs> about this, the car? This. Okay. Um, the car is a Honda uh, Civic, two-door Civic, and we like get the car. Yeah. I guess it's okay to pitch Cardinal. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Cardinal Stand Honda. Yeah. We absolutely. We, uh, Cardinal working, Honda. We've been working with Cardinal Honda mm -hmm. for a long time. Uh, ever since we yeah, ever yes. since we've been doing this. So they get the uh, we get the car from them and. Uh, uh, as I said, we we uh, we do the drawing on July seventh. Last year we sold five hundred and seven tickets, and we netted about thirty thousand dollars, which Huge. is pretty good. Yeah. That's the most we've ever netted. This year the goal is thirty five thousand. So we want we'd like to sell, you know, five hundred and fifty tickets this year. Mm -hmm. We're off to a great start. Yeah. Uh, we sold almost uh, about one hundred and ninety tickets to this point. Wow, that's and terrific. We usually that's a good we sell start. Yeah, we usually sell half of the tickets the last month. Yeah. Oh, you always yeah, do people that. Get, yeah. yeah that, people get excited yeah. and everything. Right, right, so. right. And well, the, car, the Honda is an amazing car. Now, I have to say, I just bought my first Honda a month or so ago, Honda Civic, and I love yes, this car. Yes, it's a cool car. Love it, love it, love yeah. it, love it. Yeah. So if you have a chance to win this car, I definitely recommend you uh, call Dave up and get one of those tickets. Cause and is it it's red? It's a great car. It's rally okay, red, red, and you have options with the car, too, if you win the car. Because some people will say, I really don't like that car, you mm -hmm. know, for some reason, or the style or whatever. Well, they, your car has been very um, flexible. You can sell the car. They'll, they'll buy the car back from the winner, so you can do that. Or you can upgrade, which the people that won the car last year, the person who won the car, upgraded to a uh, different type of car last year. And three of the people have sold the car back to uh, mm -hmm. Cargo right. and taken the cash. Right, right. So, so there's you know, a couple different ways. For the yes. price of the ticket, it's yep. a pretty good. Uh, the odds are pretty, the odds are pretty good. Right. good Absolutely. Right. Um, and then the other part of this, every year that same weekend, there's terrific fireworks going on over um, on the Thames River. And this is a great location. Fairview is a wonderful location to watch those fireworks from. And so if you mm -hmm. get a ticket, that gives you entry into... It does. You can drive your car onto mm -hmm. our property, which is a really strategically located because it's on the fringe. Mm -hmm. You can get out easy uh, when you want to leave, oh, but yes. you can really see the fireworks yeah. really yeah. good. Yeah. And yeah. if you get there early enough, you can even have some hamburgers and hot dogs because well, we're a picnic. There you go. An extra little tip for you. We do what we can. <laughs> now, a couple other things going on. Um, you have a wish list. We do. We have a what wish list. What is that? Well, I don't think I knew about your wish list, Dave. Well, we send out a newsletter every we, quarter. We ask him, but I don't even think he's in the last few well, years. We haven't said yeah. anything about a wish list. Probably, so. yeah. You know, I think you're right. I never yeah, have. So let's hear about that. Well, we have a wish list, and it's on the back. Well, it's on our website, but it's also on the back of our newsletter that we do quarterly. And we have received a lot of donations through the wish, wish list. Uh, we received, uh, you know, we received an automatic door opener. We received uh, a computer. Uh, monitors. Uh, we've received a lot of things for residents. We've received uh, pieces of equipment. So we have all different types of things. You know, just for instance, looking down here, you know, uh, we, need, we, we, we just did actually receive, which this is called a hydrocolator. It's something that you put. A hydrocolator. You put, it's like a tub of water and it heats up um, towels and oh, you put okay. them on right. so they're nice and warm right. okay. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we use a lot of those but um you know flat screen televisions we're trying to put a, a 22 mm -hmm. inch flat screen television into every resident's room and we've been working on that we just got a really nice donation from charter oak uh to buy five of those televisions oh, so that was pretty good that's a terrific donation yeah and uh you know, IV therapy uh, things for, it's a practice thing. We, we have staff development. You have to, the staff mm -hmm. has to go mm -hmm. through and do these types of uh, training things. And uh, medication shredder uh, and a carpet extractor to clean the carpet. So, you know, it's so on our website. Your, in the yeah. website. It's on the website. Yeah, and you can take a look and uh, see if there's something on there. We do get a lot of people. Every time I send a newsletter out, every quarter, I always get at least one call from right. someone that says, yeah, I noticed this on your uh, wish list. Right. 
And so specific, so, you never so we know only have a few more minutes. That. So I want to just mention um, that the upcoming events, are, you have a chamber before hours on July 5th coming up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and the GBA is co-hosting with Cardinal Honda on June 21st uh, at Cardinal. Correct. Honda, the Groton <laughs> Business Association. I have yeah. to say, they do an amazing yes. job. Breakfast. The breakfast yeah. is um, amazing. The breakfast is just horrific. So Stan's that's, daughter does that. Mm -hmm. yeah. She, she does, does a great, great job with that. So I look forward to uh, that breakfast And the every car year. will be there. Yep. At both of those uh, yep. events. Right. And so. fast forward to November. I know we haven't even reached the summertime yet, but fast forward to November, of course, is your, your biggest fundraiser. That's the, and big. that's the antiques and right. uh, auction. And you take donations um, for that. So how, well, how do the donations work? What kind of items do you accept? We accept uh, pieces of furniture. We accept jewelry, lamps, rugs, paintings. Paintings. Will uh, you accept things throughout the year? We like accept if someone's things. doing some major spring cleaning or something like that, and said, "Okay, I'm looking for a good home for right. this." We do. Okay. And we've done that already. We've gone and picked up things that mm -hmm. are like. We just picked up some items from a house that where they sold the house. So, okay, you know, dishes, they, some good. antique dishes, dishes, some really nice. We have some, uh, yeah. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> and Suzette, Majestic yes. Jewelers, does yes, a great. Do they nice, always yeah. donate uh, that, a very beautiful right, piece of jewelry. It, it does do which well for does uh, very well. Fairview, and I good. remember one time I was bidding against your brother, but I won. You did, and um, I was okay with that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think but he anyways, was too, and I'm not yeah, sure. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> so just, just really quick. Um, uh, I was going to call you Bill Brown. <laughs> Dave is retiring next March, uh, yes. 2013. Yes, so just, we have the this year right, to right. to get him to volunteer for this, that, and, and fill up his <laughs> fill up his schedule right, over right. the next yeah, year. Yeah, a lot of people right. say that. Yeah, when they <laughs> when they retire, they end up. Right. Bill, but you mentioned Bill. You know, a lot of times I have another brother, Walter. We have three the three of us, and they're a little bit older than I am. But we always kid each other. But you know, oh, we'll go into a restaurant and stuff. We're eating. We'll say, yeah. You know, that's actually my father. <laughs> <laughs> so, but one but, thing with Bill one time, we were at, we were at a Cracker Barrel, and uh, these ladies were sitting next to us, and uh, we were talking, they overheard us, and we started talking to them, and we said, uh, so Bill says, who do you think is the oldest of the three of us? And then she, mm. uh, the lady said, well, you know, he looks old, but, but and they thought I was older than Bill. <laughs> now, what a crushing blow that was. <laughs> I mean, Bill, I hope you're and, watching he's 70, show and he's 72, <laughs> oh, but he does look good for his yeah, age. Yeah, well, you know what? So don't you, Dave. Oh, well, I well, feel good. That's yeah. the main thing. Well, thank you, Dave, for Thanks being for such being a, a great supporter of the chamber. And also, just remember to support uh, Fairview and, of course, Dave Brown. And hopefully he'll come on our show before uh, he actually retires. Thank you for having yeah. me on. You guys have been great. Yeah. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank so you, Dave. So this ends our show, Tricia. I will see you next week. We are the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce. Good evening. And spirit fly into mystic Let your soul and spirit fly into mystic Into mystic Into mystic